Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This week's something a little bit different. It's been winter for quite a long time now and I just get a bit bored editing the same video again and again. So, I've just been into Talpo Rod and Tackle and this is what we came up with. I'm gonna get you to oh. choose me three different patterns. Oh yeah. Two of each and one of them has to be something I can swing on there. And I can't use anything else. So, you choose me the flies and then I'll go try and catch fish on them. Okay, so while Gian's serving that guy over there, I'm going to show you around the shop. This is the new Talpa Rod and Tackle. They've moved from where they were located to the top of town. And they've, uh, as you can see, upgraded. This place is easily the best fly fishing shop in Talpa. We've got kind of conventional area right here, which is pretty sweet. And as we come on over here, we've got the couch where you can just come, grab a coffee, sit down, hang out, talk to the guys. Scientific anglers wall here. We've got some cool mural going on here. Kingfish, ray riders, some rods over there. Some reels, fly section right here, which is what Gian's going to select my flies from today. And then over in the corner here, we've got Orbis wall, Howler Bros, bits and pieces, all that good stuff. And then fly tie and stuff all over the back there. Super cool. Super cool space. Just come hang out, drink a coffee, see the guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm really to, uh, thinking here. Yeah. I'm really thinking here. Right. Okay, so we've got what the we got? two carpet caddises, different sizes, one and a 16, two habaneros, uh, one and a lavender, one and a tan. Roger. And in winter, there are big shrimp hatches happening. <laughs> so, so we've gone with, with two shrimps for, for Alex to swing there. Uh, yeah, we'll see how he goes. To recap, so I can only fish the flies that Gian picked for me. My mission is to try and catch fish on one, if not all those flies today. It's almost lunchtime, so by the time I get in the water, I'm gonna have about three or four hours to do this, and we'll see what happens. Good times, let's go. start with a swinging setup because I think that might be the more difficult of the flies to catch the fish on so I'll start with that and just you know I might get lucky straight off but I don't know all right so here we go these are the flies that Gian picked for me so let's recap we got two shrimp patterns two kind of caddisy hotspot kind of nymphs and then two habaneros one in a tan and one in a UV I feel pretty confident I'll catch on the nymphs I think I've got more chance of catching on the nymphs than I do on the shrimp pattern. So I'm going to start with the shrimp pattern um, and give that some time and just see, I don't know, just, just kind of feel it out. So for the single space set, I've got the same thing as normal. I've got Frank, the Helios 3 5 weight F, uh, Mirage LT size 2 reel and the burnt orange. And then on here is the Scientific Angler's integrated Skagit line intermediate sink tip in a 210 grain. Off of that, I've got an 8 foot sonar sink tip leader six inch per second and then I've got about that much 12 pound like one X ish and then on there I'm gonna start with this guy here little shrimpy pattern it's fairly small I mean it's not too much bigger than the woolly buggers I'd be using so I mean I don't know it could work so what I might do is take this weed guard off tag ends of the hook pack and then I'm gonna take this barb right down Yeah, beautiful. All right, I don't know if you can see there, but these have got little dumbbell eyes in them, look. Um, and it looks, yeah, in the water, that's gonna look, I reckon that's gonna get eaten, you know? I reckon we can do this, guys. I'm gonna put the other flies back in this little packet. Okay, and that's all I can use today, right? That's it. Let's do it, I'm excited, let's go.
That looks pretty good. Actually looks quite fishy. All right, here we go. First cast of the challenge. Might be a little bit light for this heavy water. But as it starts to slow down, down there a little bit, I think she'll start to get down in the zone. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, it's happening! <laughs> no way! Early in the piece too! Oh, that's sick! Okay, I've just got to get this guy in the net. This is the one I wasn't too sure about, to be honest. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, come on, baby, come on. Dude, he's out of here. Come back up the run. Come back up the run. Look tip low. Just try and wind him. Work him back up the run. Back up here. Oh, that was a real, real cool, aggressive eat too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Well hooked. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rainbow trout on the shrimp. Hooked out in the net, perfect. And there it is. Shrimp pattern. Boom. Look at that, just a beautiful fat, fresh. Get you back. All right. Real quick in the piece, really. I've only been fishing five minutes and we got that one. That's the one I was kind of like, mm, I'm not too sure, but I mean, the shrimp hatch is a real thing. <laughs> All right, Gian, one fly down, mate, two to go. But what I am gonna do, seeing as that was so much fun and so early, I'm actually just gonna swing down the rest of that run because I'm here and set up and doing it. If I can get up another fish, then sweet, bonus, and then we'll change over to a nymph rig, put those other flies on, I'll talk you through that, and then we'll get on the hunt for those guys. But uh, what a start. What a start. Just before I get cracking again, a quick shout out to Sodope. As you may or may not know, I have had some stuff cut out of me recently that could potentially be skin cancer, waiting on results. But it was a good reminder to me to be way more vigilant with sunscreen and that kind of stuff. So I actually put a video out about it a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that up here if you want to go check that out. Basically, I was just saying that I've been pretty slack over the years putting this kind of stuff on just because I'm lazy, really. No other excuse. Anyway, after that video, these guys reached out to me and sent me some stuff. Got some repair balm going on, on on the stuff that they cut out of me and it's helping me heal. Go out, get something like this. I'll link these guys in the description below. Especially if you're in New Zealand, the sun here is just so harsh. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just savage. So I'm gonna chuck some of this on just before I get going again. And uh, I urge you guys to do the same. All right, let's just swing down the rest of this run because hey man I mean why not why wouldn't I get another fish out of here a fish right in front of me coming over and looking oh he had a look he's following oh I thought he was gonna eat that then he had a real good look at it come on Oh, there's a fish. Yep, 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 yep. 
<laughs> oh, dude, dude. I don't know how well this is hooked. It was not a really aggressive eat. It was just kind of like slow and kind of just pressure came on. Maybe I lifted my rod tip a little earlier. I always wonder. It's not a real aggressive solid take, but we'll see. We'll see. This is good. This is good. I'm enjoying this. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. Come on. Straight in. Oh, yes. Oh, two on the shrimp. What is happening? Just another shrimp loving trout. <laughs> so good. So, so good. Two. Ah, uh, gonna carry on down that run. Imagine if I could get a third fish. Seems like rainbow trout like shrimp. Who doesn't love a shrimp cocktail though, right? Fish right here. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, that was aggressive. That was super cool. I don't even want to nymph. This is just too much fun. Oh, dude. That's it. Stay in the edge here. That's a lovely fish. Oh, she's off. Damn it. Beautiful fish. Hooks out in the net. Just gonna give you a quick look. Shrimper. There you go. Nice. Yep. Okay. So that's three fish. One lost. Couple missed. Uh, on that first piece of water. So, oh, raging success on that one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up the nymph rod with the other two flies, and then we're gonna go and uh, poke around some different pieces of water and try and get some fish on those too, which will be really, really cool. I actually don't wanna stop swinging because that, that was just mad fun. Anyway, the challenge is a challenge. We've one down, two to go. I'll set up the nymph rig and talk you through that real quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll get cracking, eh? <sighs> what a... What a good day. All right, let's set up this nymph rod. So first thing I'm gonna do is check on an indicator. So this is uh, from a New Zealand strike indicator company. They do um, pre-cut extra large tubing pieces, um, which I've found real handy so far. I'm really enjoying those. This is a 3X leader, about 12 foot. Put that guy through there like so. And then we're gonna grab our, we'll go for a red wall because I think it shows up pretty well on the on the GoPro. Tease all those fibers out. If you want to see how I do this in detail, um, I'll link a video up here. Um, just exactly how I go about making up a nymph rig. My rubbish. Okay, here's my bag of flies. My first fly is going to be this jobby here. I don't know what it's called. Looks like it's a check nymph and fly by the look of the hook, but that's okay. It'll work. Double baby to there. Tag ends in the hip pack. 
And then seeing as there's still plenty of colour in the water, I'm going to go 3x off the bend of this. And then we'll go, I don't know, about set 12 inches. And I think what we'll do is we'll go with the UV habanero right there. That guy. And again, double Davy to the habanero. Tag ends in the hip pack. Boom. And then the last thing to do, you got it. Crush them barbs. Boom. And boom. Okay, so we've got a habanero, we've got a, I don't know, fluffy thing, I don't know what it's called. Then we've got about 12 foot of 3x with an adjustable indicator on there. Just put a little bit of lube on that. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, and that's the scientific angler's absolute supreme tippet. And then the rod I'm using is Popeye, which is the Helios 3 6 way F. Mirage LT size 2 reel. Yeah. On here, as you know, is the Infinity Smooth Camo from Scientific Anglers. Let's move and go find some nymphable water, eh? And then see what we can find. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I'm thinking. Sure, oh yeah, I can see fish in there. Okay. I see fish along this inside, at least. Maybe it's too far over. I'll fish it out. Pretty early in the piece. <clears throat> Fish. Just as I was lifting up, no way. Didn't really see that. I was just lifting up to recast. I'm gonna have an arrow. Oh, hey yo. Oh, we're in. Mate, we're in danger of doing this. Okay, there we go. Proof, it's the habanero, look. Alex moved to finish off, but you saw it on here. That's legit, that's a fish, it counts. Two down. So I've caught in the shrimp, I've caught in the habanero, so now I need to catch on this pattern. So I have a cunning plan. But Jan gave me two of these flies, one in, a, in that big one there, which is like a 12, but he also gave me this one, which is like a 14 or a 16. We never really discussed that I couldn't fish two of the same pattern. So what I'm thinking is I fish this guy, because I've already caught in the habanero, I'm gonna take that guy off, replace it with this, and double my chances, potentially, of getting one on this flight. If I can get one on this, we've completed our challenge, and that'd be pretty cool. Just put that in there, tag ends in the hip pack, crush this barb, because we don't want that. So, we've got a that one there and then I've just replaced the habanero with a size I think it's a 16 or a 14 of the same pattern but it's still gonna count it's still got a split shot lovely stuff here we go
yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, no, no. good fish. Well, I think it might be a bit wrapped up now. It feels a bit weird, but it is a nice fish all the same. Oh, Yes, yes. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> if I can get this in the net, we've completed our challenge. Oh, yes, come on. Come on, baby. Come on over here. It's a lovely fish, too. Really nice fish. Darn it. Oh, mate, that was awesome, that was awesome. Just proof, there she is in there, boom. Here we go, nice. Job done, that was really, really cool. I enjoyed that immensely. Fish on a shrimp, fish on a green thing, and fish on a habanero, all chosen by Gian. Came out to the river and got it done. That's really cool. What a cool thing. I might do this again. If you enjoyed this one, guys, let me know. And if you want to see me do more of this kind of stuff, I think I'll do it because I really enjoyed it. It was, it was fun, something different. And uh, yeah, just mixes it up a little bit. Well, I'm going to carry on fishing for a little bit because I've got time. I'm probably going to swing that shrimpy thing again. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.